recipe of the day. We are excited to be here and excited that you're here. If you're watching the replay, let me know. Hashtag re replay. Um, we always love it. I know some of you can't catch the live, but we appreciate that you watch it um, later uh, after we are doing a live. So we love having you here. So today we have um, a yummy, yummy plan for a special Labor Day weekend idea for a recipe. I thought it would be fun. I know that it's time for um, barbecues this weekend and I hope people have fun plans. It's a gorgeous day. I guess it's going to be a warm weekend here at the beach. So a beautiful weekend to be barbecuing. So I thought a new twist on something for the barbecue would be fun today and that is going to be, we are going to make pork burgers. They are sesame pork burgers with sweet and spicy slaw. So we're going to make pork burgers with a slaw and then we're also going to make, I thought, well, what would be good with that? <clears throat> with that? Excuse me. We are going to make sweet potato fries. Um, of course, baked sweet potato fries. So um, this is going to be delish. So let's get started with our burger here so I can get it in the pan. And we have so many yummy things, as you can see, in front of me. So I'm going to start. I have two pounds of pork, and this is I'm planning to make out, uh, out of this eight burgers. So um, you can plan how many you need. <laughs> But we'll see how many this really makes. But one pound should make four patties, and then um, hopefully this two pound makes eight uh, patties. I figured as long as I was going to do this, let's make enough for tonight, and then we can make enough for another night, especially when there's only three of us. Hey, Mo, how are you? Denise, Rhonda. Hi, guys. Okay, so I'm getting started here with our pork burgers. So to this, I am going to start with some garlic. So in here, because I didn't think, you know, have it all pressed here, ready to go. I have a tablespoon of garlic all pressed. It's about probably three or four cloves of garlic. I uh, would tell you exactly, but we pressed more than for one recipe, because we're also putting fresh garlic in our sweet potato fries. Yum! So, start with the garlic. Now, sriracha, or this chili paste. I love this, love this, love this. Chili stuff with the green lid. Um, it's my absolute favorite. I love it. So you could use sriracha if that's your favorite, but this is my fa my fa my favorite. So I'm going to use this. And to it, um, it's a teaspoon, but I'm going to put a little more than that because I know my audience here. So I'm going to put a heaping. I'm going to put two heaping teaspoons of that in there because um, I love it. We're going to use that again here in a minute. Uh, sesame oil here. I'm going to use a teaspoon of sesame oil. So put that in. A little bit of sesame oil goes a long way, but it has really good flavor, so it's going to make these so good. And then um, it calls for fish sauce, but I don't have fish sauce. Uh, I thought I did, so I'm going to use Worcestershire. Shire. <laughs> Worcestershire. Shire. Hey, cool. There's my sister. Hey, Florence. How are you? Anne Marie, how are you? Welcome, Rhonda. We're making a yummy twist today for something new for your Labor Day barbecue that people will think it's burgers, but it's going to be these yummy pork burgers. Um, and then it's, you could use cilantro too for this. I'm not a huge cilantro lover, so I am using just some parsley. I have my pan on back, back here and I hear it get, uh, getting hot. So for a little green in here, I just did some parsley. So a little bit of parsley, but if you love cilantro, if you're one of those people that does and your family loves it, go for it. Cilantro would be fine here too. Okay, now that I've got my fingers all muckied up here, I'm going to put some salt. Salt this up. And then I'll put some pepper in here too. I like this seasoned pepper when I'm making something like this. So put a little seasoned pepper in there. This is the Lowry's with the blue lid. I just like it, so I use it in everything. And then I'm going to put a little bit, um, I think that's it in here. That's it. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in here, but I'm not going to see it. This um, pork looks like it's going to be plenty. This is the extra lean pork. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So I get this all mixed up here. I want to make sure that that sesame oil gets mixed all around. Oh my gosh. Yum! Yum! Oh my gosh! It smells good. Okay. 
Okay. I think this needs a little more pepper for my taste. So I'm going to put a little bit more, a little bit pepper in here, a regular pepper. And I think I'm also going to put just a dash more of Worcestershire. Shire. <laughs> hey, Melissa, how are you? Welcome. We are making a pork burger for your Labor Day weekend barbecues. Just something new and different. Okay. I also um, chopped up one jalapeno and one serrano chili, diced it up real fine because I know my audience, so I'm going to put some of that in here just for a little heat, but I will keep it, I'm not going to use quite all of it, just a bit. And also when it gets cooked down, it doesn't seem to quite be so hot. Now, this um, serrano, when I was chopping it, was making me cough, so <laughs> you know it's going to be plenty hot. Okay, so that's our burger mix up here. So let me divide this in half, and in half again, and half again, and see if I can get eight out of this baby. Okay, that is not, I don't think, going to be big enough, so I'm going to put a little more. Because they're serving this on um, English muffins, so I want to be sure that I fill my English muffin with patty. So I'm going to make it a little bit more here. Oh my gosh, you guys. It smells so good. That sesame oil is just has the best um, flavor and smell. These are going to be yummy. Okay, so there's my burger. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in my pan. So hold on a second. Let me rinse off my hands here and get the pan going. Of course, grab my olive oil that I didn't get out. Hold on. Ah. Okay. Put a little bit in here so we get a nice crust going. Now, I would do these on the barbecue, but we're not outside. <laughs> so I'm going to use my handy dandy cast iron skillet here for this. And I feel like it is very warm. Okay, so I'm going to take my burger and I just wash my hands. And so I'm going to mix up my raw pork with my next thing I'm going to do. Ooh, yeah. Hear that sizzle. Yum. Okay, I'm going to move these because we're going to move on here to our slaw. Put this back here. Okay, keep washing my hands because raw meat and the rest of it don't mix. Okay, slaw. Our slaw dressing here, I'm going to start with some mayo. So here we go. This is going to be so good. It has so many good things in it. Um, I will start with the dressing here. Half a cup of mayo. So measured, of course, very carefully. <laughs> and then we're going to go with some rice wine vinegar and one tablespoon. So I actually got out my measuring spoons for you guys because I get lots of questions about the recipe. So I'm like, well, I better be like Ina Garten and measure. <laughs> so one uh, tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, one tablespoon again of the yummy, yummy hot sauce that I love. This stuff. So I'm going to do a tablespoon of this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a generous tablespoon of hot sauce. Um, just don't want to forget anything. Oh, let's see. Salt. Can you grab me some sugar? I think I forgot to get it out. It calls for two teaspoons. I'm just going to put just a pinch because I don't really like it to be sweet. Um, the carton. And, uh, okay. Sugar, salt, sriracha, rice wine. Here's my sh uh, sugar. You guys know I love these this time because it's, it's easy to pour and store. The pour and store. So I'm just going to put just a pinch of this in there. Mostly just to offset the vinegar. But literally like one, one teaspoon of, sh of sh sugar. So less than what the recipe calls for. And voila. That is going to be our slaw dressing. To taste this and see if I got it nice and spicy and check for my salt. And see, let me look at my burger here. It smells so delicious. Holy moly. Oh, beautiful. What do you do at night? <laughs> I lay in bed and read recipes until so you find one that's like, ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> okay, so let me taste this. Here's my slaw. I think you guys want to watch me cut cabbage, but I cut it in half, cut it 
cut the head in half, take the core out right here, and then slice it as thin as you can. I have my awesome knives, my Henkel knives, so always whip out a big one to make it slaw. Um, I want to taste this and see how it tastes like here. See if it has enough salt. Oh my gosh, it's so good because I love this stuff and that's what it tastes like, so it is very good. Um, I think it needs some pepper, so I will put some pepper in here. I, I think it's probably against the slaw law what, to have black flecks in your, um, in your mix, but I'm, well, I'm going to. Okay, so some of this dressing, I'm going to start with some on here, but I'm going to save some of this to put on our English muffins when we um, serve our burger. Okay, and so into the slaw, I'm going to put uh, some green onion that I just freshly chopped and put some of that in there and then toss this baby. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Hold on. I don't want this to get carried away while I'm over here. So let me toss our slaw here. Oh my gosh. Now slaw, whenever you're making slaw, and another thing I like about this recipe is you can make it ahead. You can make all these burgers ahead of time and put them on a tray and put them in the fridge so they're ready to go, especially if you're having a party and you're having guests. You don't want to be in the kitchen. So this one, you can make this whole thing ahead. And the slaw is always better. I've got a few big chunks in there. I'm just pulling them out. Um, make the slaw ahead. Uh, several hours ahead is really the best way to make slaw because then the cabbage has a chance to break down a little bit. And to help with that breakdown process, I am going to put just a little bit of lemon, of course, off my tree. I grew it myself. Yay! And we are going to put this little bit of lemon on here. Oh my gosh, you guys, this burger smells killer. Just because I like lemon and slaw, a little freshness. And you know, because I don't have the oven on to toast my bun, I'm just going to stick it in the pan. So it can toast a, li a little bit with our bur with our burger. Okay, and there we go. Okay, so in our slaw we just have the cabbage, the green onion, our slaw dressing we just made, and let's see how that tastes. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, delicious! That is delicious. So this is gonna be. Yummy in the tummy. Lost my towel. Okay, so next, uh, while we wait for our burger to finish up and my bun to toast, we move this over here a little. <laughs> I know, don't toast my bun too much. You're right. Get my bun going in there. Make room. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is going to be yummy and fast. I mean, this is a quick one. Okay, so now we're going to make sweet potato fries. So I thought that I would um, show you guys. I sliced the first one. I'm only using two um, sweet potatoes, which if you can believe, it's making a ton of fries. This recipe actually called for six sweet potatoes, and I'm like, who is going to eat all these fries? Not us. So I only have two eaters here to eat, to eat these. Okay, so I cut it in half. Um, I cut the first one into pieces first, so hold on, try to keep it on the board here while I'm slicing it. Sweet potatoes can be very hard, but I'm going to cut it into strips. I cut this one in half first, probably shouldn't have, because the first one I did, I cut it into the slices first, but I thought it might be more graceful to cut it in half first on camera, but you know, here we go. Okay, so I've got slices one way. And I'm going to make some slices the long way here. Maybe if my slices will stack up. Thought I'd make this look easy. <laughs> that was my goal. Easy here. Slice up the, the fries. And I'm not making them too big because I like them to get a little crispy. And since I'm not going to fry them, I'm just going to do them in the oven. I want them to be a little bit thin so that they you know, get a little crispy on the edges. Yum. Okay, so it's going in. So I'll show you how many. This is one and a half sweet potatoes. And look at this. It's, oh, whoops. <laughs> it's almost the whole bowl full of, already. So to this, because
because, you know, we're not going to fry them, but we can't go without some butter, right? <laughs> I smell my bur my burr, though. Hold on a second. Let me check it. Um, got my... You have your instant read thermometer at your fingertips? You need to have an instant read thermometer at your fingertips. Ready to go. Because it's pork, I'm going to check it. And we are not there yet. We are not quite there yet. I can also tell because when I stuck the thermometer in, um, all the red juices came out. So we're not quite there yet. But oh my gosh, it, it smells delicious. I believe pork off the top of my head because I didn't look it up. I think it's 165. Um, anyone there want to look that up while I'm finishing these fries? <laughs> I think it's 165. Hey Seal, how are you? Okay, fries. Here we go. We are going to toss our fries here with butter. Yay! Half a stick going in. You know what? I think I'm going to mix my spices into here first. So into the butter. Whoops. Go in the pool here. I am going to do one teaspoon. We'll see if that's enough. It's probably not. Um, of my taco seasoning, you know, homemade taco se uh, seasoning that we made on the show. So I'm going to put a teaspoon of that in. Then I have a teaspoon of garlic, a couple of cloves, and go on and get it out of my measuring spoon here. Oh my gosh, these are going to be good too. And then I'm going to put some salt, some seasoned salt, to zip up our fries. And then I'm going to put some black pepper, which I just have. Uh, put some black pepper in our fry marinade and make sure I got it all in there. We have garlic, seasoned salt, the, our homemade mix here. Okay, yum. Seriously, like yum. Oh, turkey's 165? Okay, so you think the pork's done? Okay. Well, hold that thought. I'll tell you what it is. Okay. Well, we're there anyway. We, we are there. It is cooked. So I will take that off here. And let's see how our... Oh, our bun getting nicely toasted too. Oh my gosh. I'm going to let that rest for just a second while I finish up our fries. But there is our burger and our bun that I'll let that rest for a second and then we'll dress it up with the slaw. But I'm going to finish the fries. So for the fries, here we have our sauce. Butter, our homemade taco mix, salt, pepper, and garlic. Fresh garlic going in to season up our soup potato fries. Oh my gosh. going to be yummy. Okay, I'm just going to toss these with my hands and get all of our fries nice and coated with our butter and our seasoning. Oh my gosh, these are going to be good. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Taco seasoning and the seasoned salt. Okay, and then these, I'm going to toss them on the cookie sheet here. Hold on, we'll, we'll wash off my hands. Okay, I have my cookie sheet ready to go here. And my tongs. Here's my tongs. Okay. Just wash off my hands. So I kept them long. You could make them smaller if you wanted to, but I thought, I don't know. They're long. They'll be pretty. They'll cook down a little bit. But I don't want to overcrowd the pans. So I need to do these on two pans because I want to leave them room so they can um, crisp up around them. But you get the idea here. Fries go on the pan in a hot oven for probably 30 minutes or so. And then boom, we got sweet potato fries. Yummy ones. So let's, um, I think we need to plate up this burger with the slaw and uh, taste it. Yeah. Okay, so I have my English muffin. It goes on a muffin. And I just um, warmed up the muffin, toasted it a little bit in the pan, because that's what I had in front of me. And um, 
Oh, Lisa, yeah, I dropped off your prize. Winners trying to get my prizes dropped off to my drawing winners. So I'm going to put some slaw on there. Oh my gosh. Uh, yum. And I know I have a willing taste tester here behind me. So, oh yes, well I'm getting there to the, to the dipping sauce. The dipping sauce for our fries. I have, thank you for the reminder, half a cup of mayo. And then I'm again going to use this. Now you can use ketchup, you can use sriracha, you can use whatever is your favorite, but I'm going to use my favorite. And I'm going to mix that up. This is the dipping sauce for our fries. So just some mayo and some of this, what is it called? Sambal Olek, ground fresh chili paste. And because I love it so much and use it on all kinds of things, I think that's going to need just a pinch of salt. Um, of course, I'm going to salt the fries when they come out, when they're warm. I'll put some fresh, you know, salt on there. I might even use my Malden salt since I have, you know, a gallon of flaked Malden salt. Um, so I'm going to do. So I'm going to show you. Oh, I put it away though. That other. Oh, look at this. Has anybody tried this yet? I just bought this at Trader Joe's because I love this so much. This says Italian Bomba Hot Pepper Sauce, Fermented Crushed Calabrian Chili Peppers. That looked right inside my wheelhouse. And if I had tasted it before I started the show, I might have made my dipping sauce out of that. <laughs> but this one is new at, tra at Trader Joe's and looks good, so I'll be trying it. Okay, I digress from where I was on this burger. So there's our dipping sauce. And here we go. I'm going to have a bite of this and I will have my crew take a bite too and see. So, oh my goodness. Mmm. Okay, that is delicious. Really, really good. And like I thought, different for this weekend for your Labor Day. Quick and easy to get it put to, uh, together and you just have a whole different flavor of uh, profile than your normal burgers and dogs. So that is yummy. Uh, my sister says on the fries, um, cook them in a 375 to 400 degree oven and they seem to crisp better if you cook them a little lower than, may than maybe a 500 degree oven. So oh my gosh, look at that. Here's my second taste tester on that. And you know I love slaw anyway, so anything that has slaw, I'm all in. So that is our fun ideas for pork burgers and slaw and sweet potato fries for this weekend. And so I um, have a couple birthday shout outs today. Doo -doo -doo -doo! Birthday shout outs. Um, today's Lindsay Cohn's birthday. So happy birthday to you, Lindsay. I hope you're having a great day and it's all about you today. And we know that um, you have a great year ahead. So happy birthday to Lindsay. And then I have a couple special friends, my dear friend from yesterday, I guess I'll leave my hat on, Wendy Zone Zito, happy birthday to you yesterday, and we will catch up and talk soon. Um, I hope you did something fun for your birthday too yesterday, and Kathy George was also yesterday, and coming up at the end of the week is Rachel Elder, who is my number one winner, her family, they have won my drawing several times, and they won again last week, so congratulations to the lucky um, elders and to Rachel and um, we are wishing you all the best um, you can find I'll put the recipe here on Facebook and also on YouTube you can follow us at Ventura Real Estate um, you can always see visit us at GaryAndLisa.com your real estate edge um, it is a gorgeous day here at the beach today I was actually down at the beach today for the first time all summer I'm ashamed to say but that is the facts um, and it was just gorgeous so um, enjoy where you are. Enjoy your holiday weekend. Be safe. We have a very special guest on deck for the show on Saturday. So if you are going to be tuning in Saturday at 3, I have a um, tentative guest all lined up. And it will be really, really a fun show. So we are here live Wednesdays and Saturdays. And we look forward to seeing you. We love that you guys are here and you watch live. And um, we just love you. So if you know anyone thinking about buying or selling real estate in our Ventura County, beautiful Ventura County, give us a call. And let me know if you try these recipes. I'd love to hear your comments. So please um, put your comments um, on these uh, posts so I can see and your pictures when you make them. I love it. 
So thanks for all your DMs and all your messages and all um, of you trying all these new things that we've been trying. And we will see you Saturday at 3 o'clock. Remember, there's only two things you can control, your effort and your attitude. So pick a good attitude and always do your best. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.